Good afternoon, Moose Tube fans. I am uh, going to be changing out the headlights on my 2014 Harley Davidson Heritage Softail Classic. I've got one of the turning lights burnt out, and these are the factory standard lights. But I was doing a lot of research online and found a uh, LED light kit for the headlight and both uh, turning lights for around $100. Uh, it's manufactured by a company called Truck Mall, and it fits not only my model of Harley, but uh, several others as well. So I went ahead and I ordered it, and I'm going to show you what was in the kit and walk you through the switch out so you can actually see it in live time. Now, uh, you know, truth in advertising here, I've already actually done this uh, a week ago, so I wanted to have a week's worth of riding uh, experience on these so I could give you a better, uh, you know, feel for how the headlights themselves worked, and I love these things. You know, I'm an old man, it's a little harder to see at night, these things light up the world. So, inside you've got your instruction seat, which is very simple. You've got one, two of the turning lights and why they call them turning lights I don't know but that's what they call them. You've got your main headlight assembly. You've got this big fancy bracket that they send you and quite honestly and you'll see when I do the switch out here you don't need this. I use the factory bracket that's already uh, on the motorcycle and it works just fine. And then they give you all kinds of wiring harnesses and adapters, which again, for my 2014 Heritage Softail, because this does work with a lot of other Harleys, you don't need them. Okay? Which the only thing you need out of this whole kit to do this changeover is the main headlight, the two running li turning lights, the instruction sheet, and these are the only two tools that you need. A stubby Phillips screwdriver and a thin bladed slot screwdriver. And you may not even need this. The only reason I needed this when I did the first changeover was to kind of help pry the uh, connections apart. But otherwise, that's all you need. That's how simple this is. So let me go get set up out at the bike and I'll show you how it goes. Okay. Just want to show you this before I start. Uh, as you can see, my as you're looking at it, the uh, left turning light is burnt out and it gives you an idea of the brightness and intensity of the uh, headlamps, the factory lamps. So now I'm going to switch out and then at the end of the video you will see the after and you can make the decision for yourself. Did it help or did it not? All right, you're actually going to see this in real time. I'm going to include the entire segment of this in the video so you can see for yourself how long this takes. Each one of these three headlight rims has a Phillips screwdriver or a Phillips head screw holding it in place. If you're lucky, the head is on the outside. It's on the inside, that's why the stubby. Uh, mine, when I changed it out the first time, they were all on the outside anyway. Basically what you do is loosen up the screw. You can see I've got a little towel across the front fender here. And there's a reason for that. Hold your parts for you so you don't lose them. Very easily. And this little ring just clips off, slides right off. And of course the dogs have got to bark at everything coming or going around here. And this is where the uh, connection comes apart, and that's why I have, and then I have to get my screwdriver, flat hit. Because it helps a little bit to get this off. Just to break it where it will come apart, and it's just a little clip like that. You have to reuse this ring right here. basically slide the ring back on it. 
Now, on the new headlights, you got a, a black and a red wire. On your connection, you've got a gray and a black. So, to me, black goes to black, and it fits and snaps. I've got my ring on. You just got to kind of finagle this back in here. Get this ring worked around here. And the important part to remember is on the light, you've got the DOT SAE. That goes up. Take your ring and put your ring back around it so that it completely covers it. And that's kind of one of the tricky little parts to this is getting it, you know, all in the right aspect so that it works. Now, here's a little cheat trick. See where the screw is? You want your screw on the outside, both for putting it back together now, and if you ever have to change it again. Start it up here, where you can see what you're doing. And then just... Keep it loose enough so you can turn it. Keep your head your light up where the SAE is vertical. Slide this around. And now you can tighten it up. And that's one light done. So let me get the camera repositioned. I'll do light number two. Okay, now for light number two. Boom. It's that simple. It's off. Set your new one up. Put your ring on place. Find the SAE right here, which goes to the top. Remember, red goes to black. Or to red goes to gray. Excuse me. Red goes to gray. Black to black, snap it in, feed this stuff back in here. Take the ring cover. Uh, make sure that it's all in the right place. Start your long screw in. It sounds like one of my neighbors is having a party out here, so if you hear the music, that's what's going on. Just enjoy it. And the dogs, well, they're just being their rowdy selves, so you just got to put up with that. Tighten it down a little bit. Get your SAE straight. Slide your ring around where it screws on the bottom. Tighten it down.
Boom. Let me reposition the camera one more time so you can see the big one. And we'll get that done. All right. This is the connector for the large one. You see it's three-pronged, where the others would just a two-wire snap connector. So that's going to be real important here in just a minute. This one comes apart a little differently. There's one Phillips screw on the bottom. This lifts off. This is not a compression ring like the others. Solid ring. Now around the headlight there's three screws now that have to come out for the big boy. Now if you go by the instructions, they also want you to take off this uh, big bracket in here. But I found that I... I, the new one actually fits right inside, so that is not necessary. That saves yourself a lot of time, trouble, and work. Now this is the ring that holds the headlight on. The headlight itself. And I've got to go find a little screw I just dropped. It didn't go far. So now we pop this connector off the back. Old headlight off. New headlight, again like I showed you, three prong here. Put this one run away on me. And it can only go in here one way. Push it in tight all the way. Find your DOT SAE that goes up. Boom, like that. And there's actually little slots in there. Put your ring back over. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. And I may have actually screwed up and got it right the first time. Lined the holes up. Yep. But if they don't line up the first time, just roll it around. It'll get there. Ain't no big deal. And uh, one thing you guys need to understand, I'm not a mechanic. I'm a glorified parts changer. That's what I do. So, that's why it may not look real pretty and, you know, coordinated what I'm doing. And plus, I got the sun right smack in my eyes because it's setting here on this November the 7th evening. I really can't see squat what I'm doing keep the sun out of the camera, I have to do it this way. Get back up in there. Get that started now at least. Get back in that spot. This is the most difficult part of the whole process right here. So don't tighten it down yet, just put it in there loose. You'll we'll see why in a minute. Again. Getting everything to line up exactly as it needs to be. And if I get right in your way here because of the sun, I apologize, but I've got to get this where
Now yeah, we're cooking with Crisco. Now, the whole reason I said you don't want to tighten these up all the way, you see how this is moving around in here? For the outer ring to fit right, it's got to be centered, so you kind of have to maneuver it and hold it. Pressure on your left thumb, then you can tighten your screws down. Now, I don't know how well this will show up, but there's two little tabs right here that this ring has to sit down behind. Line up your holes. Get your screw started. Tighten this down. Bingo, we have lights. So you can kind of see what they look like now. And in a minute, I'll show you an after dark shot. That's how simple this is. You know, for a guy who's not a mechanic, if I can do this, anybody can do this. And you can have LED lights on your Harley Davidson. Like I said, this kit was for my Heritage 2014 Softail. So, if you guys like these videos, please hit the like and subscribe. Hit the notify bell so you know when I make uh, additional videos. And I will see you all in a minute after dark. Okay, Moose Riders. Got the new light on the Harley. So, I wanted to show you the after. What I did was I replaced the headlight and both of the turning lights with LEDs. So I wanted you to see what they look like. I'm turning now so you can get straight into the camera. Room. Really makes a big difference. I like them. I like them a lot. I've had them out on a test ride and it makes all the difference in the world, especially for older guy that has trouble seeing at night. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. The dogs are out here playing too, by the way. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Of course, anything, you know, it's just a learning experience for me. I'm not, no mechanic, never claimed to be, never will be. I'm just a glorified parts changer. And that's really all this entails. It's very easy. So if you like this and you learn something from it, please hit the like and subscribe, the notification bell so you get notified when I make additional videos. And, you know, share this with your friends. I'm going to post it on my Facebook page too. Um, you know, spread the word around. These lights are a real value. So I will talk to you later.